Time to go take care of the animals. They are eagerly awaiting their breakfast. taking a little tour and showing you guys all the different animals that we do have so these are our egg laying chickens these are the these are the ladies that provide us with so many wonderful eggs every morning you can see them you got Speedy over there, our resident rooster, and then you've got our ladies over here, Linda Chicken, the Orping Twins, everybody's out. So we'll head on over, over to the next pair of animals, and we'll go say good morning. Good morning, pigs. All right. So, these are our piglets. You have the dark one here. That is Chloe. And she's our female. And then right over here, we have Minty. Our uh, boar. Which he's gonna be our bacon seed this year so eat up guys enjoy your breakfast okay on to the next and up here we have our two livestock guardian dogs as you can see, they're very excited. These, these guys are great Pyrenees puppies. And I think they're just about three months old. Three to four months anyway. And you have Anaya. She's a very smart girl. And you have Finley. I see you, bud. Yeah. I see you. How are you guys doing? Oh. Okay. There you go. I know. You guys want to run around and be crazy. But not yet, guys. Not yet. Good morning, Mr. Hook. What's happening, bud? This is Hook, one of our cats here on the farm. He likes being outside. 
he likes checking out all the happenings on the farm and occasionally he catches a little shrew or two and brings them up on the porch for us as a little gift but Mr. Hook is a good cat and uh, he'll usually come in in the morning after being out all night and he'll want to uh, come in and get lots of pets he's my little buddy when he comes in in the morning all right mr. hook I gotta go down and take care of those other chickens Are you gonna come with me Head down and get to the other group of animals on the farm. We got the animals up in the woods and we got the animals down here at the coop. So we'll go ahead and show you guys these guys. Come on, chickens. There's your grain. There's your breakfast. Now these guys are going to be our next round of egg producers. And they're going to be... Uh, they should start laying eggs here in the fall. Which will be nice. That way we can uh, kind of up the egg production here on the farm. We'll have lots of eggs to, uh, you know, do some holiday baking. And also have more that we can uh, provide for our community. All right, guys. I'll leave you to it. Ah. There's our other cat, Eel Hokito, which, if it sounds very similar to his brother, Hook, it's because Paisley named her kittens when she got them Hook and Il Hokito which he gets lots of nicknames here on the farm sometimes he's Il Hokito sometimes if he's really snuggly he'll be Il Snuggito if he's feeling a little hungry we call him Il Snackito so he gets all the nicknames on the farm of the cats and he's the, he's kind of the opportunist of the cats here. He is very much a I am will be wherever everybody is in the hopes that I might get a treat. And he has figured out if I hang out with a dog, the dog gets treats. So I might get a little myself. So he's he's the smart one in terms of knowing how to uh, get the treats that he wants if he just hangs around in the right spots. So he's uh, he very much follows us around. Good morning, guys. So these ducks here, these are going to be our meat ducks. And they are going to be ready to process here pretty soon. Uh, they do not have any names just because they're meat ducks. But they're fun little guys. All right. Hey guys.
as you can see, these are our runner ducks, and these guys are just going to be kind of little pets on the farm. As they get older, they'll be running around with the chickens and and just having a good old time. You can probably hear one of our little baby roosters letting you know that he is ready for the morning. And then we have our newest additions to the farm. We have our little bottle lambs. And they're out here in their little outdoor pen and grass area. And you can see they're, uh, they're quite happy out here. They like getting out outside. You can see there's Bobble. And the one with the tag is Clank. Again, we usually let Paisley name the animals on the farm, and so we get some very creative creative names for our animals. So, yes, the lambs got the names Bobble and Clank. Mr. Hook, you coming up to say hi? Hi, bud. Whoa. Are you going to climb up my leg, huh? All right. You get pets soon enough. I think that does it for the outdoor animals. I think we've only got one one other animal left that you haven't seen yet and he's the the old dog on the farm and that's Poet. I'm sure he's inside somewhere on a blanket resting his old doggy bones. I'm heading out to feed the lambs. And I thought you guys would want to watch. We're in the nursery center since it's such a beautiful spring day. Hi! Hi! I haven't named any of the chickens yet. Oh, look who saw me. Hi! 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 Oh, how did the ducky food get tipped over? Okay. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on, babies.
my friends. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking with you guys this beautiful Memorial Day weekend afternoon. It's gorgeous here in Maine. The farm is in full bloom and I don't know if you can hear the birds chirping, but it's absolutely glorious outside. One of the things that I wanted to talk a little bit about with you all is the spirit of poverty and abundance. My whole life I have lived with a mentality of poverty. I grew up in a uh, poor family as far as financial means and you know we didn't have an abundance of anything in fact most of my wardrobe were hand-me-downs and my mom had to be very creative in what was going to be made for dinner and put on the table and how she was going to clothe her eight children and um, it just I, I imagine for her it was very very difficult and she's an extraordinary mother anyhow but nevertheless I grew up in poverty and then the majority of my adult life has been in poverty and changing our mindset from a poverty thinking to abundance thinking is somewhat of a stronghold for me knowing that our God is great and good and he wants good things for his kids having that as truth but then living from a poverty mindset doesn't work uh, you cannot revel in and delight in the blessings from God if you're scraping any manna or provision and hoarding it so that in the future if you need it you have it one of the ways that I struggle with abundance is um, in poverty mindset is maybe not necessarily in cash flow which um, I always need cash flow uh, starting a farm is not cheap and there's lots of needs but it's more or less like hurry up and buy something while we have the money because if we don't have the money later we'll regret it and so stressing and striving about having to get what you think you need to get for the future immediately because this is the only time that you're gonna have the opportunity to do so that is a poverty mindset it's a lack of trust for what is needed later on and creating a very stressful environment for everybody to get what you think you're gonna need later but immediately because you're fearful that you won't be able to and I think that's where I struggle the most that's where I think that I struggled when buying our house and uh, pursuing our dream and getting animals for the farm and building a garden and taking care of Paisley. These are the areas that well, I've struggled quite significantly. So I'm trying to change my thinking. I'm trying to change my mindset from a mindset of poverty to a mindset of abundance because we serve an abundant God. So that's one of the things that I wanted to share with you that I've been processing in my mind this week. Many other things, but those can be for other days. <laughs> also, um, we are going to be launch We Right now we post every Sunday, but we are gonna start posting Sundays and Wednesdays because by the time we post the following Sunday, there's so much content that we've created that it's kind of old news. <laughs> and um, then you're not really seeing what's happening in the here and now. Like I think this video will be posted Wednesday, so I probably should tell everybody on Sunday. <laughs> but maybe I'll post this on for tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> but um, nevertheless, we're going to start posting on uh, Sundays and Wednesdays to see if we can maintain a two content upload um, days every week. We want to be consistent in what we do. We are learning. So it takes us a little bit longer to edit videos. Well, because we're learning and 
I don't think that my computer is the best computer for that, um, but my husband is looking into that. He'll take care of that. I'm trying not to move forward with things with the mindset of, if I don't do it now, I'll never get it done, because that's just not true. And it's no point in settling for strife and missing the blessing that's here and now. I don't want to stress about what I have to do tomorrow and miss the blessing for today. And sometimes the blessing is just taking some time and just being without a to-do list, just being there, being present for your family, being present for your kids. Anyhow, thank you for watching our YouTube channel. We appreciate you.